seconds. Dublin's 98FM. Hi everyone, it's Aideen from 98FM Fashion and I don't know about you, but I love a good nosy through my friends' makeup bags. If I'm ever over in their house, I go through their dressers and I'm like, ooh, ooh, what is this? Ooh, do you like this? What's good about it? And uh, the bathroom cabinet as well. But uh, Kim Buckley from Spin1038 is here with me today to go through her makeup bag. I can't really go through her bathroom cabinet, but I might come <laughs> around to your house Maybe, yeah. and go rummaging some other day. You're welcome anytime. Thanks Aideen. a million. Right, so Kim, what have you got here? I guess we should start with, um, well, let's start with the bag itself. Hold it up there. Let's see what size of a bag you carry around with yourself. It's it looks small, Ooh. but it carries loads. Mm. It's a Marc Jacobs. Nice, excellent. Black one. Yeah. And does it get dirty? No. Inside, it's a little bit grubby, but no. Yeah, you can just wa wash yeah. the outside it or wipe happens. it down. Yeah, baby wipe is perfect for that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, so show, so show us what you carry. By the way, is this something you carry around in your handbag every day? No, okay. I carry around the basics. Yeah. I wouldn't carry around the massive bags. It's yeah. quite heavy. Um, so I carry around maybe like powder mm -hmm. and lip gloss. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. I, okay. I'm very low maintenance. So this is on your dresser at home? Yes, this is at home. Perfect. Yeah, so bedroom. let's start with foundation. Okay, well I have three. Okay. For good skin day, going to bad skin day and night out. So Excellent. if I'm having a really good skin day, I use um, the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser. Mm -hmm. um, it's got an SPF in it and um, it's really good. It's nice and light, but it is a bit greasy. So if you have greasy skin, I wouldn't use it. I wouldn't cool. recommend it. Is that expensive? Um, that's a small travel size. I think that was like 15 euro, but I think the large one is 30 euro. Mm -hmm. So like... Actually, I was in the shop the other day. That's retails about 40, the large size. Oh, does it? Yes. Okay, right. A regular 40. size, I should yeah. say. Cool. So what's next? Then I have, this is kind of my everyday foundation actually mm -hmm. on your recommendation, yeah. Aideen. Um, it's uh, number seven, Stay Perfect, Super Light Foundation with an SPF in it. And it's brilliant. It stays on all day. I'm absolutely delighted with it. And, um... It's really like light, so mm -hmm. you can just spread it on really fast. Like mm -hmm. it's not thick or anything, and I love that. So it's my new favorite. And obviously, number seven is a Boots brand, so that's not going to be very expensive. It, that's seventeen euro. Woohoo! So I love it. Mm -hmm. It's my new favorite thing. And then if I'm going out or if I'm going to a wedding or anything, I have uh, Dior Skin Forever, and um, which I've used for years and years, and I haven't found anything better than it. It's a amazing you know but it's heavy and it's you know for like a wedding or a big night out but sometimes you want a bit of extra coverage anyway yeah, it, yeah. or if you're having a really bad skin day I'd, I'd put it on if I broke out or anything like that and I'm guessing if you don't use it every day then it lasts because that's do you I've had it's going to cost a bit it costs I think it's 42 euro but I've had this for over a year so perfect it's brilliant cool and then um, I have concealer for under my eyes. It's number seven. It's like a copy of Touche Clat. It's like cheaper. Ah. Instant Radiance Concealer. Um, I love it. It's really nice. I kind of get an, I have a really sensitive skin and Touche Clat doesn't agree with me. So I use this. Mm -hmm. And then over my foundation, I have a Bare Minerals. Um, it's They have colors, but it, this is just um, regular and it's got SPF 15. It's called Touch Up Veil. That's only like 20 euro and it's brilliant. Mm. I love it. I love Bare Minerals. But yeah, it's meant to be a good brand. I haven't yeah, tried it myself. My skin is too dry to wear the foundation, um, but I love it. I did use it for a while and then I had to stop because my skin was getting dry. But I still use the warmth. It's like the best bronzer I've ever had. It's loose powder and, and you put it on in like a three motion. Mm -hmm. And I think it's it, it's like my, my favorite makeup product of now all time. Now it's loose, so is that hard to control when you're no, applying it? No, because it comes out like it's got little holes. Like it comes out uh, like a talcum yes, powder. Yeah, yeah. I'm obsessed with this. Like it's my favorite thing in the world. So I wear that every day. And what brush do you put that on? I with? have a little Bare Minerals brush that they give it you in the set. Do they give it with? See, I love well, you that. Well, if you buy a set, yeah. they'll give you the brushes as well. And it's this... Um, so you put it on like a three, mm -hmm. like that, and then I kind of do that with my neck, and it's literally like instantly, it's amazing. I, I find with a, a, a compact bronzer, you put too much on the brush, mm -hmm. and it ends up clumping, mm -hmm. but this brush and thing combined goes on perfectly, and it actually looks like you just have a tan, it doesn't look like makeup. And I have a question, because in the winter, when my, my skin is really as white as it's going to be, it looks a bit... Like bronzer looks a bit muddy no, on my skin. No, you that? just use a tiny amount, and a tiny amount will come up and just lift your face. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even look like bronzer; it looks like cool. a tan. It's amazing. Okay. Um, and then for blusher, I have Nars <gasps> Orgasm. Yes, love um, this. I wear that every day as well. It shows, it gives a, shows that in the pan as well, so that people can see oh, what yeah. the colour is like. It's I'm not like sure how um, well it'll come out on camera, but it's it's, it's like a peachy, gorgeous. a peachy colour, and there's like little bits of shimmer in it. And I know you can get super Orgasm for like. Mm, like a night out or mm -hmm. for real glitz but um for for that i have this naked little shimmery compact oh, thing wow that's stinky um, yeah it's really handy just for a night out to just sweep across your cheeks is a little brush in the bottom oh wow 
know. And it, you just sweep it across your cheek and it's I brilliant. I haven't seen that before. Have you had that a long time or is that in the shop? No, I think that's new actually. Um, I love the Naked and I have um, the Naked Palette as yeah, well. This is massively popular. Yeah, Naked 2 is my favourite one. But I bet loads of people have that at home. Yeah, the brush is amazing. In Naked 1 you just get one brush but in Naked 2 you get the two types on. Open it up there first um, and have a look. I'll show you now. So these are all neutral colours that you can wear. You they're can build all, them up to be nighttime. They're or... all browns and creams and then you, you have a black here as well or a, like a silver if you want to do a smoky eye so it's like daytime to nighttime to everything and there's the brush this is kind of a flat that um, looks excellent. contouring end and this one is like a fluffy sort of all over eye end and I love it because um, often when you get a brush with these palettes you, you throw a brush straight away that They're brush is amazing mm. I would use that if I didn't use Naked 2 or Naked 1 it's brilliant okay um, and then I put, I have a Rimmel, I think this is, I love liquid eyeliner and this is my favourite one, I've been using it since I was like a teenager. It's called um, Exaggerate, it's like a fiver, just a Rimmel brush Brilliant. and the brush is really hard so it goes on really easily. Yes, and and do you know what I notice about eyeliner as well is that the fashion now for eyeliner is to be in a pen and the pens are really good for drawing on but you only have it a couple of weeks and you start shaking it down yeah. to get the ink and this is always the ink is always there I think I've really had that for on. about three years really yeah. oh my which probably isn't very high <laughs> well yeah. you're not sharing it so it's okay exactly yeah so what else do you got and us? then I have um, mascara mm -hmm. this is my favorite mascara it's max factor false lash effect it's like 13 euro in boots it's brilliant it's just I, I think mascara is very personal someone will say use this and I don't like it at all mm -hmm. so you know but I love this one it's got a really fat brush and just you, you, you just need to put it on once you mm -hmm. don't need to you know layer it up or anything it's it's there on first application and do you use a curlers as well no yeah. I don't interesting yeah I did go through a phase but I've oh, stopped yeah, now oh yeah I curl absolutely yeah. every time oh do you yeah every time no I don't I'm, you've that's got a probably... primer here as well yeah but I, I only wear this going out because I find it blocks my pores if I wear uh, it during the day it's Smashbox photo finish oil free um, primer mm. and it's I wear it under the Dior foundation Smashbox has a really good um, reputation for its primers yeah it's one of the, the premier ones yeah it's you've good. got a nice mix here between sort of drugstore brands and high end do you have like a philosophy when it comes to or do you just buy what you can afford I buy high end if I could the whole time yeah <laughs> <laughs> no um, I think mascara eyeliner um Lipstick. I have a really cheap lipstick here that I actually got in New York, but they have it in Dunn's now. It's called Wet n Wild. You, I think it's like two euro, and this is like a coral. I have it on me at the moment. Mm, it's gorgeous. Um, what it's brand did you say? What's it Wet n Wild, it's called. Oh, and it, that's just launched here. Yeah. Mm. Um, it's amazing. My friend told me about it when I was going to the States, and I got it, and then it was in Dunn's, and I yeah. got home. But, yeah, um, I think as well, nail varnish is something you you never need to spend more than seven or eight euro on nail varnish. Yeah. Because you never get through the bottle. I don't like fancy nail varnish. I think Rimmel nail varnish, yeah. bourgeois nail varnish, Revlon, yes. excellent. I don't know why you'd bother spending more than 20 quid on a Chanel. Yeah. Except for maybe if you just, you know, felt fancy. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Oh. Cheap nail varnish all the way. And tell us about this cute little brush bag. Oh yeah, this is my little zebra. It's from H&M. Ah, there everything goes everything. <laughs> Um, it's just a zebra, it's just handy for brushes to keep them separate. This is, um, I put this, my powder on with this, it's a body shop, like a kabuki brush. Mm. It's brilliant. And I have a little mini one for my blusher. That it's teeny. is the smallest, yeah. is that from the body shop? A no, it's minerals. a Bare Minerals one. Holy moly. Yeah. And you didn't just pop that off the top of a stick? No, <laughs> it's tiny. It makes my hand look huge. <laughs> Kim, thanks a million for showing us around your makeup bag. No problem. I hope people were able to get some tips because as you were saying, like with foundation and the likes of mascara, it's massively particular. Yeah, it's to the very person. personal. Mm -hmm. But it's good to see what other people have because you know it helps you pick when you're when you're heading out and you're uh, presented with a vast array of things on the shelves. So thanks a million. No problem. Ninety-eight seconds. Ninety-eight TV.